Canva banner design, how to create a banner design on Canva for free. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with building your own banners on Canva. So let's get into it. Now, one thing to note is that by banner, you could mean a YouTube channel banner. It could be a Facebook banner. It could be a banner for your Shopify store. So there are different types of banners. Now, one thing I usually recommend is to always check for the dimensions that you're building a banner for. So if it's for your website, you can really make it any size you want. But if you're looking for a YouTube banner or a Facebook banner, then they have some recommended dimensions that you should be following. So I would say that you should follow that particular type of dimension. Now for this tutorial today, I'll be focusing on building a YouTube banner, but you can really take all of this technique and apply it to any type of banner that you want to build. Now, if you just search for YouTube banner, it will show you multiple different banners that are available that you can just customize. However, I want to build my own banner. So I'm going to click on create a blank YouTube banner and this will just open up the recommended size and then I can start building on my own. So the first thing I like to do, even if I want to cover the entire banner design in elements or backgrounds, I always like to change the background color. The reason for that is when you have a pale white color staring you in the face, it can seem a bit overwhelming to get started with designing. So that is why I like to go with a color first and then I can get started with designing. Now I am going to be building a simple little banner. I'm going to make this tech based so I'm going to include, you know, flashy tech elements in it. So for that, I'm just going to search for tech in elements and then I will take a look at some of these designs. So I like some of them, but some of them are looking a bit generic to me. So I don't like this one. It just seems a bit generic. I'm just going to zoom in a little and I think I'm going to search a bit more. And once I have decided on what I want to include, I can just move some of the elements to the side and I can later on decide whether or not I want to include them. So some of the elements that I think might be useful or might be helpful in the type of banner that I am designing or looking to design. So I think that's pretty much it. I think I don't want to include too much. So once I've done that, I'm going to start adding some dimension or layering to our design. So the first thing I'm going to do is convert the design elements all to black so it's easier for me to find them. And then I'm going to go into elements on the left panel over here and then go into shapes and then I'll just take a simple square shape. And then I'm going to expand the square shape from one corner to the other. Now I'm also going to increase the size a little and I am just placing this at the center because I want to enter the channel name over here. So I'm just going to enter that and then change the color and I'm going to go with a deeper blue. And then from the top right, you can adjust the transparency. So I'm going to make this semi-transparent like that. And now I'm going to start stylizing some of these items. So I'm going to rotate this to 90 degrees and then we are going to place it over here like so and I'm just going to move it like this and then I'm going to layer it and click on over here. I'll just show this layer keeping that layer at the front. We're just going to place this over here and then I'm going to Click on this element and then click on the layer and click on bring to front. So this element is, you know, at the front of all our items. And then I'm going to take our initial element and crop that because I want it to be connected to the bottom one instead like this. So I'm going to do that over here. And then I'm going to do command C and command V, copy the same thing. And now I'm going to crop this as well. We're going to crop this to only the part where we have, you know, the lines. 
So I'm just going to include these a bit more like so. And I'm going to just rotate them a bit as well. So they fit a bit better into our design. I'm going to rotate some of these like so, making sure that they do, you know, fit somewhere. I'm going to put them at the top maybe like this. It's not obvious. These are cropped elements or I could even do it like this. I think it looks pretty nice like so. Now after that, I'm going to go into the text section and add a title like this. So I've added a title over here and then I am going to change the font size and change the font as well so it better fits the theme that I am going for. Now after that, I'm going to click on effects on the top right and we're going to add a lifted. No, I'm not going to add the lifted effect. I think I'm going to add the hollowed effect and then I'm going to make it pretty nice. Now, after I have done this, I'm going to click on my text once more, and then we're going to place it over here. I'm going to go with the splice effect, and then I'm going to put the direction maybe to the bottom, and then we're going to set the offset pretty high, and then I'm going to move the direction to the bottom side like this. And then I'm going to change the color to black for our offset as well. Now, after that, I'm going to include a few different elements like this one over here. And then I'm going to make this semi-transparent as well. Taking this over here. So, and then just clicking on the transparency like so. Now this seems a bit empty to me. I want this to be a bit more textured. So I'm going to search for background in the element section. And then we can search for different graphics as well as some of these little paint blobs you could say. To just make it a bit more interesting. We can include these lines and geometric patterns as well. So it can really help you in designing something a bit more interesting to look at like so. So I think I'm going to go with some of these paint splatters and I think I'm going to add another blue one so it just fits right in. And just like that we have designed a simple little banner and you can do the same step by step. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that I have taught you within this video. And make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well. And to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites. So I hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if I missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and I will catch you guys in the next video.